For my entire life, I've been a fan of comic books and comic book movies. So when I heard that Avengers Campus was opening at Disney's California Adventure, I knew I had to check it out. They had a deal for California residents where you got discounted tickets for a few days exploring the park, so Amy and I decided to jump at a chance to do that. We spent all day in California Adventure exploring Avengers Campus and some of the other rides, and here's the full day. Let me know what we left off in the comments as we don't get to Disneyland very often, and I'd love to have your tips for the next trip. Let's jump into it. Hey everyone, it's 6.45 right now. Amy and I are heading to California Adventure today, so I'm trying to get access to Avenger Campus, which is the new attraction that they have there using the virtual queue system. Wish me luck. All right, 6.59, I'm loading the app, which you can see right here, and I'm waiting for 7 a.m. to join a boarding group. Basically what I'm doing is trying to get into Web Slingers, which is the Spider-Man ride. If you can get into there, then you get access to the Avenger Campus with it. Sweet! We got into group 81. 355 minute wait time, so we are going to Avenger Campus today. After securing access to the Spider-Man Web Slinger ride, we started the drive to Disneyland. We went to the Toy Story lot, as that's the only lot that had a shuttle running during that time at the park. Yeah, there's a lot of people waiting to get in. <laughs> this feels like a long day already, but we're almost in. We're just getting started. I can't believe that. California Adventure was pretty busy even early in the morning, but we got to see a few characters right when we entered. So Amy and I decided that the Grizzly Rapids are only going to get longer for the wait time during the rest of the day, so we're going there first. We're going to start the day getting wet. You ready for that? I think so. It's already warm enough for that. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. It's only 30 minutes right now. I think it's gonna be like hours later because it's so hot. It's still a long time, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still be a long time. <laughs> we had a few hours to kill before Web Singer, so we decided to hit a few rides. Are you getting prepared? Yeah. Putting your hair up? Yep. <laughs> Braiding it for all the way. I haven't spent much time at California Adventures, so all these rides were new to me, which was pretty fun. Amy's trying to say that she got wet. She didn't get wet at all. I did. It's just a just very light, light spray. Yeah, or look at me. Yeah, you are pretty messed up. I got wet. From there, we just looked at the Disneyland app to see which rides had the shortest wait time, and we found ourselves on Little Mermaid. Amy and I are just trying to ride every ride at California Adventure today, so. Getting it done. Little Mermaid. I'm excited about this one, actually. It was definitely one of the better ride-through rides like this, especially after we had done some of the older ones at Disneyland a few months ago. You had a wonderful time. That was actually a pretty good ride. <laughs> we got about 30 minutes to kill before Avengers Campus, so Amy is finding somewhere to fill up water. We're just gonna walk around Pixar Pier a little bit. Like I said previously, Amy and I almost never come to California Adventure, so it was really fun to be here and just walk around and take it all in. So it's not open because of COVID, but you can actually take a bakery tour of the of Bodine here, and then there's the Ciardelli, and that's supposed to look like Monterey right there. It's cool what they did when you're walking around. After about 30 minutes of exploring, it was our time to head towards the Avenger campus. I had no idea what to expect when I visited, but I knew the Spider-Man animatronic show was one of the highlights. Hey everyone, it's good to see you. Hi, welcome to Avengers Campus. Watch this. Woo! Hey Sharon, let's do an altitude test with the new improvements. Clear the runway, Spider-Man is cleared for takeoff. Even though the show was pretty quick, it definitely lived up to expectations. It was really impressive to see the animatronic flying through the sky like that. Plus, I love Spider-Man. We just saw Spider-Man jump around. He did, he just flung himself across the building. It's pretty cool that that's an animatronic. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna go wait in line for food. 
One of the other highlights of Avenger Campus is the PIM Test Kitchen, named after the PIM particles in Ant-Man. The particles can reduce or increase the size of something, so that's what the food looks like here. All right, so it's all about taking small things and making them big. So we got the big pretzel, and we got the small little bun with the big chicken sandwich, and then Amy got the impossible meatball, which is vegan, complete with the tiny fork. I have to say, that's actually pretty fun. This was uh, $42. That's not very fun. <laughs> that's Disneyland. <laughs> It tastes like too much like meat for you? It does, yeah. <laughs> not, not, I don't like fake meat. <laughs> it's gonna take you forever to get to the bun. That's not a bad sandwich. I give my uh, chicken sandwich a 7 out of 10. Amy gives hers like a 4 out of 10. Maybe even that. Let's see about the pretzel. That's a lot better than the pasta. Yeah? What does that get out of 10? Like a 7. Oh, solid 7. Plus it's really big. All right, so the pretzel, the chicken sandwich are the winners here. You're not repeating. Let us put it all together. Let's pay attention. <laughs> Checking in for our web slingers ride, but uh, there's a really long line now, even with us getting up at 7 a.m. I kind of expected to be able to walk on the ride after the virtual queue system, but that was not the case for us. This is not looking good. We're on about 45 minutes of waiting, even with the virtual queue. Better be a good ride. It's pretty sparse in line while you're waiting, but there are a few cool things you can check out. Peter Parker! Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. Everyone head to the Slingers and we'll team up to stop the spider boss before they destroy the campus. Eventually we got inside and were given our glasses to get on the ride. We've been in line for about an hour. We're almost to the front and the ride broke. I don't know if I just got unlucky or if this was normal, but I had multiple rides break on me during the day. Regardless, 20 minutes later we were on the ride. The technology behind the ride is actually pretty cool. You use movements like Spider-Man does to shoot at the spider bots. So that was fun, but definitely not worth the effort here. I didn't beat Amy though. I'm sure eventually that'll be a pretty quick wait, and it was fun, but it definitely wasn't worth the two hours, especially when you consider new rides like Rise of the Resistance. Giving Amy a chance to redeem herself with uh, battle spider bots. Oh, what? I won! <laughs> Woo! I beat the pro video gamer. Yeah, with the little spider bots. Yeah, you know what? It's something. <laughs> Basically the only other thing to do at Avengers Campus is just to watch for the different characters to come out. We did see a bunch of characters while we were there and it would be a lot of fun for kids who are Marvel fans. From there we headed on to one of my favorite rides in the park, and I guess another Marvel franchise, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. This is such a cool ride because not only is it incredibly fun, but it also has an awesome waiting experience where there's lots of things to see and lots of nods to the fans. I see something new every time I go on it. Sam Compete! The name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. My hands don't scan, yours do! You're not supposed to take any video on the ride, but here's a photo of us after it's done. There we are. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That was awesome. As I watched this video, it seems like we did a lot of eating, but I guess that's what you do at Avengers Campus, so here's the new items they had for dessert. That's way better than my lunch was. <laughs> yeah? What's that get out of 10? That's like an 8. Alright. <laughs> it's kind of weird. That is good though. I would say that's like a, like a 6. A 6 and an 8. Yeah, still tastes good. So you but... recommend the sweet treats. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is the Cars ride right here. It's my favorite ride probably in California Adventure, but it's a long line right now, so I don't know if we're gonna go today or not. 
We get a record catch, Amy. Seven tons. <laughs> All right, Amy has a chance to redeem herself after a loss to Spider-Man at Toy Story. Are you feeling good about this? No, I'm actually not very good at this side. <laughs> this one, Guardians and the Radiator Springs Racers are definitely my three favorite rides. This ride also broke down on us while we were waiting, but eventually we got on. You ready to go? I do my best. I got my hand ready to go. Go <laughs> Team Green. Hey, this ride's pretty old, so I'm sure you've probably done it, but just in case you haven't, it's 3D and it's like carnival games where you're competing against another person. Do you think you caught back up to me? I don't think I'm far behind, but I don't think I caught up to you. Yeah. Spider-Man and Toy Story are kind of like the same thing, and Spider-Man's good, but I always like Toy Story. It's one of my favorite rides in California Adventure. You too? I agree, except I lost. <laughs> we got a few more things to do, and then we're headed out. By this time, it was already around 5 o'clock, so we just decided to walk around the park and explore a little bit. I never knew there was a Sorcerer's Area and the Beast Library, so that was cool to see. Plus, I tried to get on the Monsters Inc. ride, but it completely broke, and I had to actually exit the line. After that, our last order of business was Soaring Over the World, formerly Soaring Over California. So there's misters here. Why is there not misters in all the other rides? People would be so much happier. That's a good point. What's not to like about soaring? It basically just takes you to beautiful locations around the world. Plus, the smells they introduce throughout the ride are always a hit as well. After that, we just made our way out of the park and we got to see Donald, Pluto, and Mickey on the way out, finishing our time at California Adventure. Soaring over the world is basically the best way to end your day at California Adventure. It's so relaxing, flying over waterfalls and pyramids, all that kind of stuff. That's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>